congratulations. You were named one of CNN's Hero of 2024. <laughs> How does that make you feel? I mean, I'm still in shock. Like, I, I can't believe it. Yeah. I never expected to get that kind of recognition. Mm -hmm. I just started off wanting girls to know their power, to know what they're capable of, and I ended up doing it through this untraditional, sort yes. of unusual method of combining dance and STEM, and, and so I received a lot of like skepticism and doubt at the beginning. So to get the recognition of CNN Heroes, even being here, mm -hmm. um, it just feels so validating. Um, and not just for like my journey and the perseverance it took to bring the idea to life, yes. but the courage the girls have to show to you know, participate in something unique. Um, and I have to say that whenever I dream about like the possibility of a movie being made about my life, Aww. I've always said I, it must be a musical starring you. Oh. So. Girl, I am ready, young lady. <laughs> Get ready. <laughs> oh, thank you for that. Yeah. So you're just inspiring everybody because you just slipped that in on me. Now I'm even more inspired. Yes. OK, visionary, I love this. <laughs> Can you tell everyone what STEM is? So STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and math. Mm -hmm. And what we see is that women, especially women of color, are severely underrepresented in STEM. Mm. And one of the reasons why is from a young age, even as young as eight years old, girls start to believe that they can't do math. They're, wow. not, they're not a math person or a science person. And unfortunately, there's these messages that they get where they believe that. It could be people around them or the scientist that's played in a movie mm. or the toys that they get. But they start to hear and internalize this message that right. girls don't do stuff. It's something that boys that. do. And the good thing is that we can change that, that narrative. And you are changing that narrative. Wow. How did you get into engineering as a kid and, and, and dance and see them coming together? Well, my parents were a huge influence in my life. Um, they came here to this country from Haiti when they were teenagers. Okay. And, <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and they, they made their way, they, they found their career in STEM. Mm -hmm. My father in particular, he became a mechanical engineer and I've always really admired him and I just loved how much he loved being an engineer. Mm -hmm. And also from a young age, I was obsessed with dance. Like I would be dancing all over the house. Aww. I was at the dance studio six days a week um, and just found like, um, That's yeah, you. that is me. Aww. And, um, I just found my joy in dance. Mm -hmm. um, and so when I was starting to think about what to study in college, I was sort of felt like I had to choose between dance and, right. and engineering. And I decided to study engineering at MIT. Okay. And um, love. <laughs> um, and also my older brother became an engineer. Mm -hmm. And so I think it's just proof that when you have the right exposure, the support around you, like anything is possible. You're showing that. And what are your hopes for STEM from dance? Mm -hmm. So we have a big ambitious goal to reach 1 million girls in the next 10 years. Oh, wow. And the goal is big because the need is yes. big. We know that we want we women, we want women of color to be the leaders in technology. Um, I yes. love this. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes. And so something we're doing is making sure that now teachers can be equipped with this approach. So teachers anywhere in the country can decide to host a STEM from Dance Club, and we give them all the activities, instructions, the resources they need so that that spark can happen for girls all over the country through dance. I love it. I'm inspired. <laughs> Plus, I have to say, I am studying, studying you right now, so when I play you, I have my <laughs> role down, okay? Yes. This is amazing. So for the young ladies who are watching mm -hmm. and are inspired by everything you're saying, how do they get involved? We have so many opportunities. So we have, I know summer's around the corner, so we have camps all over the country. Um, we also have one-day events. So there's op options like that. Mm -hmm. And then also the clubs. So a girl can go to their teacher, their principal, and say they want a STEM from Dance Club to happen at their school. And we'll give the teacher everything that they need so that, again, this can happen everywhere. We want it to happen everywhere. <laughs>